hello there beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time coming across this channel hi you are welcome my name is josie and i'm a cameroonian based in the uk on this channel i cook i chat about relatable topics and i do a lot of family and lifestyle vlogs if these are some of the things you're interested in please do well to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell if you would like to be notified each time i upload a new video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i grill this extremely tasty and juicy whole chicken if you're interested in that keep on watching on this plate i have one full onion i just split that into two and over there i have some curly parsley and here i have one full green pepper and i have three maggi cubes or seasoning cubes in this bowl i have fresh garlic already blended i usually just blend garlic and keep in the fridge so that i use it whenever i need it and here i have some parsley basil white pepper chicken seasoning curry powder some table salt thyme and in here i have melted butter you can use olive oil if that's what you have the next thing we're going to do is just add all our seasonings into this melted butter two teaspoons of blended fresh garlic one teaspoon of curry powder one teaspoon of chicken seasoning and one more so that's two teaspoons of chicken seasoning Oops. one teaspoon of white pepper one teaspoon of basil one teaspoon of dried parsley one teaspoon of thyme three cubes of maggi we're just going to crush that in there and one teaspoon of salt we put that in there we're going to mix it up together our marinade is ready guys all right this is how the chicken came from the shop it has all this stuff on it i don't like it so i'm going to wash all of this off and we'll go ahead and marinate our chicken it's got some tiny feathers on the legs i'm going to wash all of that off and we will continue the process i think i'm going to need a knife for that so just gently scrape all of that off let's rinse i'm also taking out this excess fatty parts look at that i don't want this so taking all of that out I think the chicken is clean enough so i'm going to leave it like this because if i continue scraping i might end up removing all the skin i'm going to use kitchen napkin to pat it dry just to get rid of the excess water just like so just dab and dab and dab until you're convinced that all the excess water is gone by the way this is a large chicken it's two kilograms of chicken just so you know before i start marinating i'm going to wear some gloves the only reason why i'm wearing these gloves is because there is garlic in my marinade and garlic usually has this strong smell after you've touched it with your hands no matter how much you wash your hands it usually still smells and i don't like that garlic smell after i have finished cooking so that's the only reason why i'm wearing these gloves 
if you don't mind that garlic smell by all means marinate your chicken with your fingers i just had to put this out there because i know some people don't like seeing you touching food with gloves on personally i don't like using gloves on food but i don't want to deal with that after smell of garlic on my hands i actually washed those gloves because i don't really trust that layer so clean for me to just remove from the pack and use on food so i wash them while they are on my hands all right let's continue guys i'm going to put some tiny holes in my chicken just like so just poke it with the knife we're trying to get our marinade to penetrate the chicken very well that's the reason for poking it like this Poke, 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 and poke, and poke. Voila. Then, I'm going to start applying our marinade and give it a good massage, guys. You need to massage it very well and make sure that your seasoning touches all the parts of the chicken. some of it in the belly and massage and massage and massage and massage you turn it to the other side put some mixed seasoning I'll just go ahead now and stuff the belly with my onions you can stuff the belly with any fresh herbs of your choice and this fresh curly parsley and my green pepper let me just cut that bit off and force that in there when you stuff your chicken belly with fresh herbs it enhances the flavor guys oops it looks like this green pepper is too big so i'm just going to cut that into two and put half in there put the other half aside all right guys voila the belly is fully stuffed i'm just going to use this white thread to tie the legs together Voila, our legs are in place and you also want to make sure that the arms are folded like this so that they don't spread while they're in the oven. I'm going to put this on the side for about two hours just so that it marinates properly before I put it in the oven. If you can leave your chicken overnight to marinate, that will even be better because the seasoning is going to marinate properly into the chicken and it's going to give it a wonderful taste but i don't have that time today so i'm just going to put this on the side for just about two hours right my oven is set at 220 degrees and the timing is one hour our chicken is already grilling but I have some leftover spices here and every 20 minutes I'm going to open the oven and I'm going to use this brush to rub these remaining spices all over the chicken just to give it that shiny fresh look. Our chicken has been grilling for 20 minutes now so I'm just adding some marinade and let it grill for about 20 more minutes then I'll flip it to the other side and let it grill until it's ready. Right people, it's been one hour 
and our whole chicken is completely grilled i cannot wait to serve my family this tasty and juicy whole chicken if you like the recipe please like the video and let me know what you think in the comment section keep on keeping safe and i hope to see you in my next video until next time guys bye bye